Hello friends and welcome. Welcome to another episode where I review new affordable school fountain pens. Today I just returned from the supermarket and I bought this uh, school friendly fine writing instrument with a hooded nib. Last time I reviewed this fountain pen made in China by Jin Hao, I had a little bit of accident in the sense that I applied too much pressure on the plastic and it broke. Now I thought to myself I should give it another try and I did that just because it has an amazing price guys. So I paid for this new fountain pen 7 lays which means I paid 1.42 euros or 1.69 American dollars. So a fountain pen for less than uh, 2 euros or less than 2 American dollars. Let me see. So first of all, this is made in uh, China by Jin Hao. And it is repacked and distributed in Rum Romania by this firm Pigna Romania Impact Serele. So it's made outside the U EU, the European Union. And it is sold in... Uh, the European Union after they add this package. And on the package we see that this fountain pen is available in a classic style nib, an open nib, with a tip of 0.5 millimeters, and with a hooded nib, uh, they say it's a calligraphic nib, with a point of 0.38 millimeters. On the back, it is mentioned that we have a light pen. It weighs 16.5 grams with um, iridium-tipped nib, very resistant, available in medium 0.5 millimeters or extra fine 0.38 millimeters. Okay, it's ideal for initiating uh, writing and uh, school practice. And it says it also contains a reserve ink cartridge. It is not recommended for children under three years because it contains small parts and it is a choking hazard. Please recycle a code bar. And now guys, I'm ready to open it. It is simple stapled and I will try to open it as good as I can so without ruining too much the original let me see if I can do it like this yes with the cap it is rather easy and now let me see how I can reach the body of the fountain pen I don't want to ruin it because maybe I will give it as a gift to uh, school children that needs uh, writing instruments. So this is the fountain pen guys. The other time I had problems with uh, this is the included in cartridge. I had problems with this part that it simply broke when I tried to apply pressure on it. So you must be careful because this has this part uh, made out of plastic. So I recommend using the included ink cartridge. In fact, I will install it right now. And again, that problem. I hope that this time it will fit. Yes, now it fits. Or guys, you can use a Jin Hao ink converter. And I have one right here on this Jin Hao 51A. I am more curious in a way to see if this fits the other Jin Hao. 
I'm not so sure, but I believe that the, the name of the NUM model is Jin Hao 911 with a hooded nib. First of all, so this is the uh, Jin Hao 51A. I will see if the barrel, no, the barrel doesn't match. This and um, I was curious to see if there were compatibles and if it doesn't match surely it won't match this other one so it doesn't fit but i want to see if i can insert the ink converter that we have on this model so i will simply try to fit it on this yes it fits so as an advice to you guys if you don't want this to repeat just use the ink converter all the time this means you don't have to fit every time a new ink cartridge because this part is quite quite vulnerable so if you use the ink converter and let me see if i can close it up using the ink converter yes it closes without problems so buy yourself a Jin Hao ink converter. I think you can find it. Maybe you will pay the price of this fountain pen, one euro or two euros, but it it is worth your investment. So I won't do the writing sample with this ink converter. I will simply fit it on my Jin Hao 51A. By the way, guys, if it is on the table we will do a slight comparison the dimensions of these two fountain pens now simply insert it like this okay don't put too much pressure if you want don't want to ruin your fountain pen and guys i have here another 911 and this is in red but this time it has the open nib so a comparison between them the only part that is different is uh, not the grip section but only this part starting from here it contains this small grip section and this contains the open nib okay let me put it aside and on my desk i have also a Lamy 2000 so let me put also the Lamy 2000 here because I want to show you and the classic Parker 51A uh, uh, excuse me a classic Parker 51 so you can see the dimensions of the fountain pens let me show you to you yes you can see that our fountain pen is quite quite um, thick fountain pen and now i will leave also the dimensions of our fountain pen on the screen i will put aside the original pack let's put aside the parker 51 the lamy 2000 and the other jin hao 51a if we look closely at it if we examine it we can see we have plastic we have the beautiful, beautiful trims. They are silver plate, uh, not silver plated, but they are metallic with this nickel ending. On uh, the thick ring, we have Jin Hao on it, and that's it. The cap on screws revealing the beautiful, beautiful grip section, continued by another grip point and the hooded nib of course the barrel and screws and you can fit it with the included ink cartridge or you, we can um, use also a Jin Hao ink converter by the way guys we can securely post this fountain pen in time it would leave scratches because this is metallic part and this is a plastic part and I recommend you to use it uncapped. Now, guys, we are ready for the writing sample. For the writing sample, I will change the angle of the camera because I want you to see better 
the written sample so okay now i'm ready so i have here a uh, Hmm, this is a small little problem. And guys, I have to wait some period of time to allow the ink to reach the hooded nib. And uh, you probably know from my last videos that it is a small problem with this ink cartridges made in China in the sense that I can't apply pressure on them to write. So, with uh, your permission, I will use, uh, because I don't have time, I will use the Jinhao ink converter from the 51A. So, I will quickly disassemble it. By the way, guys, on the 51A, in the converter, I have the Mont Blanc Royal Blue ink, so it will be a treat for everyone. But remember one thing. When you, I'm sorry. Yes, I will leave this here. So when you fill it, the ink goes from here through here, but now it wasn't filled with this fountain pen. So for this reason, I will simply open the Mont Blanc bottle of ink. I will put back in the pressure sink okay and now i will emerge this fountain pen in ink and i will draw the ink for the first time okay now guys it is an expensive ink this bottle cost me around 20 euros or maybe to a equivalent of 25 American dollars. Okay, now I have a tissue here. I will simply clean it. And now I think it's ready for the written sample. Remember guys, after you are done with the ink bottle, just put back this beautiful, beautiful cap and I will leave aside the ink. Now, before I try to write with it, let me see if we have a go. Yes, we have a definitely a go. Now, I can put back the barrel. Okay, so guys, I have here a Jin Hao. The model is, I think it's 912, if I'm not mistaken. It is in the color blue. It has a hooded nib. It is made in China. The hooded nib is made out of steel. It is an extra fine with a tip of 0 0.38 millimeters. Okay, guys. Now let me see if we have a flexible nib. No way, no flexible nib. It is a pretty, pretty juicy nib, and I will show it to you. You can see. Let me see if we have some line variation. So here, without pressure, and here, pressure. Definitely, we have a little, little line variation. Let me see how it does the signature review yes quite nice okay let me test the reverse writing so reverse writing well guys i know that uh, i said it is an extra fine nib writing but i think i'm mistaken this is an f nib and in reverse writing this is an extra fine nib so definitely a possibility yes it's definitely a yes you can see it doesn't scratch it doesn't lose its uh, ink flow let me test it again with reverse writing not as juicy as the standard one but it does okay 
And now, guys, let me tell you about the quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. So guys, this was my review. Thank you for your time and I wish you to have a nice day wherever you are. As a conclusion of this video, I thought to myself that my initial review, because I broke quite easy this piece, was a little harsh on this fountain pen. Remember guys, the most important factor of this fountain pen is the fact that it cost 7 lace. The equivalent of 1.42 euros or 1.69 American dollars. So guys, this is a bargain of a fountain pen at this price. It uh, writes wonderfully. This purpose of this video is to promote fountain pens to school children. They are really reliable instruments, guys. They don't leak. And if you treat them well, you will see that they write way better than a ballpoint pen. And if you are young and you want to have a nice handwritten, you must try the fountain pen. At this price, I don't care if it breaks, you can buy yourself 10 of this and still have a pretty, pretty nice experience. I must tell you that the Jin Hao is one of my favorite Chinese producer. I really think they deliver quite nice, affordable writing instruments. And I really hope that you will try to use them because they're really, really worth your money. Again, this was my review. I highly recommend this fountain pen, just treat it with care because it's made out of plastic and some parts are fragile, like I've shown you already. But give it a little nice try and I hope that you will have a better experience that I had. You can see it is a wonderful writer and it certainly needs your attention. Thank you guys. I will see you again at the next episode. Till then, please take care of yourselves. Bye-bye and God bless.